Welcome to my series on raising Coturnix quail. In this video, I will show you one of my favorite methods that I use to compost quail manure. Chicken manure can also be composted the same way. I found this method to be stress-free and very little work. I will show you how to turn waste into some beautiful fertilizer for your garden. I love it that my composting method starts here. My flowers and trees are very generous in dropping their leaves and flowers everywhere in my yard. I collect it and save it for the compost. I will now show you step-by-step step exactly how I compost quail manure. This is my homemade compost bin. It's a 3x3x3 three by three by three foot bin with a large opening. This is actually a compost bin and a quail cage combo. I love this uh, build. It's like my favorite way to keep quail now. It makes everything super easy. So all the droppings from the quail fall directly into the compost bin. So you don't even have to collect um, the, the manure. It's already there. And uh, I'm making another video showing uh, how I did this. And um, so stay tuned. Um, if once it's done, I'm going to put a link to um, the video so you can check that out too. I use this compost bin to compost everything in my yard. So uh, yard waste and manure from other cages and beddings and all that all goes to, into this one compost bin. I use these large metal trays to catch the quail droppings. I really like them because they keep everything really nice and tidy. Now this is probably just the most unpleasant part of taking care of quail, but it doesn't take very long. I just take the tray over and use a little cement tool to um, scrape it out into the uh, compost bin and shake it out as much as I can and put the tray back under the quail pen. Now to help with odor, what I do is if I have some old potting mix sitting around, I uh, would add some in and then mix it in. I've also used some native soil that would also work. And I simply use a pitchfork and mix it in. By doing this, there's hardly any odor at all. It works really, really well. Some people suggest that you can add some garden lime to your compost pile to help control odor. I've never done it. The next step is to add some of my yard uh, droppings, the leaves, the flowers, all the yard clippings. And this really helps mask any odor that was not taken care of by the potting mix or some native soil. Now, it's not necessary to add the potting mix or the native soil. I do that because I have it laying around. So that's one way to reuse the potting mix and recharge it with some nutrients. Now, at this stage, most people would add water. But I want to be able to continue to layer my compost so a layer of manure a layer of soil if i have it uh, laying around and a layer of yard waste until it is completely full then i will add the water and i will turn it two to three times a week and it is pretty amazing how quickly the all the stuff turns into this beautiful compost and depending on the weather outside, um, how fast the stuff is going to break down. But it's pretty incredible stuff. So I always cover it up. And um, that's it. 
Now I'd like to show you a compost harvest that I did uh, about a month ago. This is what finished compost look like. Look at that, all the stuff has broken down and just leaving behind some beautiful compost. Now, not everything broke down. Uh, there's still some big chunks in there, but that's okay because um, I'm going to sift out all the smaller pieces and I'll use it in my uh, potting mix. I will side dress my fruit trees and then I'm going to toss back all the bigger chunks into the compost bin and let it decompose in the next batch. Just look at this finished compost. Isn't it beautiful? It smells amazing. There's like no trace of any quail manure left, but just beautiful, earthy compost smell. And this is charged with so many nutrients. My plants are just gonna love it. And all of this is completely free. All the leaves and the debris from the yard and the um, quail manure all re recycled and reused and all will go back to the plants again and thus starting a new cycle. Nothing goes into the land field. Everything gets reused and recycled and feeding new life in my yard. I really hope that you enjoyed this video series and I hope you found this video in particular to be helpful in dealing with quail manure. If you should have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.